Hello, hello. I don't know what the status is on the solar eclipse in your neighborhood, um, but ours, it's the sun's coming back out again, um, which is cool. It was neat for me to, uh, oh, I should have brought it over here. It was neat for me to look at it for just a few seconds. Um, I actually I didn't have any glasses and I didn't have time to make one of those cool little um, uh, cereal box things. And so I literally just walked out to my car and got like five pairs of sunglasses because I have five pairs of sunglasses in my car and layered them on top of one another and then just like held it like that and just, you know, kept glancing back and forth. It was pretty interesting. I'm sure my neighbors were like weirdo. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to hop on yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I shared an article here and also on my Heather's Dish page that really seemed to hit home. I had a lot of shares, a lot of feedback, lots of um, messages of encouragement. And it was basically about how, why would we, why do we get frustrated whenever we have um, a friend or a family member who joins a MLM, mid-level marketing or network marketing company, um, when they when they are trying to sell something that they're passionate about, but we have no problem just walking the aisles of Target and buying random crap that other people um, are marketing that you know who we don't know. And um, it's funny when you think about it because I well, it's funny when I think about it because if you had asked me about a little over a year ago if I would ever consider network marketing, the answer was a big fat heck no. Like I supported a couple of people. Um, that you know I appreciated what they were selling and that kind of thing but other than that I was like there's no way that I would ever do that I would ever um, put myself in that situation where people would get angry and frustrated and annoyed at the fact that I was selling something um, but then I got to a point where I was I the the vision that I have for the future of my business the future of my family um, the ability to give generously etc far surpassed my um, desire to make other people happy with my performance or whatever they expected of me. Um, and so I went ahead and jumped feet first into network marketing with Beauty Counter. Um, so I just want to, it seemed to really kind of strike a chord with a lot of people. I got a lot of likes, a lot of sharing, a lot of people um, sending it as a message to friends and family who do network marketing and so I just thought that I would hop on and share a few other things that you can do to support somebody just because um, just because I sell beauty counter doesn't mean that I expect every single one of you to want to buy stuff from me I hope that you look into it and that more than anything it's just an education op educational opportunity to learn more about what is in the products that you're using and if you decide to go off and make your own organic stuff out of coconut oil and essential oils and I don't know what else beeswax like go for it that is fantastic but um, for people who don't have the time or um, the other resources to do that uh, it's I, I like being able to represent a brand that has a mission that wants to um, to offer a, a quick and safe and um, easy switch so that being said, here are, how many did I put? I put three, three little things that you can do to help support the people that you care about who are doing network marketing, and you don't have to spend a penny. You don't have to buy their stuff in order to support them. Um, and so the first one is talk to them. Um, and by this I mean ask what they're doing. What, what is it that they sell? What is, it, um, what is it that drew them to this company? I'm gonna put the monitor down. <laughs> Um, what is it that drew them to the company that they're working for in the first place? What, um, what fueled their decision? Give them a chance to, um, to practice their why and explain exactly what their thought process was in joining this company. Um, asking them also just, I mean, just finding out what they do because you genuinely care about them, because you genuinely care about this person in your life who has made a decision to sell or do something with network work. I can't talk network marketing. Um, it's just, it's a simple conversation. Just saying, I care about you. I want to know what you're doing. I want to know what's going on. I want to know what drew you to this opportunity. And then a, a side note with this whole talk to them thing. If you have no intention of purchasing anything from them, be honest and upfront about that at first. Just say, look, I can't spend the money. I don't, I, I mean, I wouldn't say I don't want to <laughs> just because it's not super nice, but um, 
Of course, you can say, I don't want to buy anything, but you know, just say, I, I can't buy anything. I'm not in the position to purchase right now, but I want to know more about what you're doing. I, I care about you and I want to know what is going on in your life. So um, just being open and honest and just saying, look, I, I don't have any intention of purchasing right now. Um, and I will let you know if I change my mind in the future, be open and honest in a kind and loving way. But if you genuinely care about somebody, there's no reason why you can't ask them what they're doing um, or ask about how it's going or anything like that. Um, so talk to them. Step number one, number one, just talk. Let's have an actual conversation, a relationship, right? I think there are a lot of things in this world that could be changed by the power of a good conversation. Um, number two, offer to help. So you can't spend the money. Maybe you don't want to spend the money. Um, it's not in the budget. It's just not in your interest. Whatever the reason might be, you can still offer to help. So for me, I'm just, this is my perspective. Um, if I'm sending out 50 samples of stuff, um, if, you know, I don't know, I don't want to say anybody's name. Um, if Susie <laughs> wants to, um, wants to help me in my business, but doesn't want to actually purchase anything, she could come over and help stuff envelopes. She could come over and help, um, you know, put the little samples in the little jars. She could come over and write the names of the samples on the little jars. You know, helping helping in that way. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you have somebody who's working like with LuLaRoe and just if somebody orders an out, if they have like 50 different outfits that they need to put together and mail out, like help them put that together, help them organize it. Just be somebody in the room that they can talk to and share, um, share this part of their life with. Another thing is childcare. Um, I haven't really need, had a need for this necessarily, but um, at least not in my <laughs> beauty counter business. Um, but you know, one of the things that we do is host if is have somebody host a social, and so um, sometimes that means most of the time Nate is able to to come home early, and I can go and do that, or I can hop online and do that. However, I'm doing a social, but um, offer to watch their kids. Say you know because you've already done step one and you've talked to them and you've had a conversation and they've said. I can't do all the things I need to do to build my business because I don't have anybody to watch my kids. Well, maybe that's an opportunity for you to say, look, if it's only for an hour or two hours, I, I'm happy to watch them. It's, it's free childcare. It's helping your friend out. It's listening to what their needs are. Um, again, just, just stepping in and being, just being in a relationship with them, living life with them. Um, Another thing would be to host a social gathering. So maybe you're one of my friends and you don't have any intention of buying. We've already had this conversation. You've already shared it in some way or form and I respect that. But um, by you hosting a social gathering of some kind, I, I mean, I don't know, I can't think, I don't know what other companies do. Um, but I know like LuLaRoe, you could host, a, I don't know what they call it, like a party or something like that. Or um, per, just participating. Offering to host it doesn't mean that you have to buy all the things. Um, but what you're doing is you're helping to get the word out about what your friend is doing so that people who are potentially interested either in the product or the opportunity have an option, have the opportunity to come and learn more about it. Um, just showing that you care um, is huge. And I mean, like I said, the whole thing is you need to be upfront and say, I don't have any intention of purchasing but I want to help you. So if, you know, hosting a social, if having some sort of party or gathering or something like that where you can share um, the message of your company will help you, then I'd be happy to help you as long as it's not something that I have to be financially committed to. Um, and I mean, and I'll go ahead and throw this in there. If somebody said that to me or when people have said that to me, I am so thankful for that. There are some people who are, I don't, I don't know why, I don't know. I just know that they're out there. There are people who will not be grateful for that. Um, but I think for the majority of us, we would be so, so thankful just to be like, okay, so I know that you're not going to actually purchase and that's fine. Um, but you genuinely care and you care about me and you hope that I can see success in the things that I'm doing. And so, I mean, I would just, I'm so appreciative of the people who do that. So number one, talk to them. Number two, offer to help. Now, there's a million other ways that you could offer to help. I'm just, those are like three examples. And then number three, share the love. Um, so Facebook and Instagram 
both work with an algorithm that favors um, posts that have more engagement. And so things like liking something that they've, um, that they've posted, leaving a comment, sharing it, um, sending it in a message, which is sharing it, but still, what else do I say? Reposting it if you're like on Twitter or something like that. Um, give them that engagement because one, you're helping your friend, two, who knows? which one of your friends that maybe isn't a mutual friend of this other, you know, the original person, who knows who you could actually help them reach? Who knows, who knows whose life you could actually change by sharing that content? So, um, if you see, you know, somebody that you love posting something about, I mean, I'm just going to use my example about the five minute face, um, beauty counters, new makeup bundle. Um, and you're like, okay, well that's not something that I'm going to buy. Maybe I don't wear makeup. Maybe you already love the makeup you have. Maybe you don't care, whatever it might be. But if you share that, who knows, um, you know, who's in your network, my kid's kicking the wall. <laughs> Who knows who's in your network um, who would care about that, whose life could be changed by that. Maybe they're needing something that um, that, that makeup uh, bundle will provide. Who knows whose life it could change. And so not only are you helping your friend, you're all, you could p potentially be helping one or more other friends, other family members um, in their life as well. And in that same vein, word of mouth. So we are also connected with social media, but that doesn't mean that we can't just have a conversation with someone and be like, oh, you know, you, you love healthy living, you love learning about the, um, you know, about environmental toxins and making safer choices. You should talk to my friend, Heather. You should, you know, talk to my friend, Emily, who does Beachbody, whatever it might be. Like you, you take that person and you connect them. Word of mouth, handing out business cards, sending somebody an email and introducing the two of them, whatever it might be. Have, being willing to share that information um, that you know your friend is passionate about is a huge way to help. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say it again because it's huge. When you like, comment, or share anything on Facebook or Instagram, that helps so much as far as um, your friends or family being able to, to get the reach that they need um, in order to do business the way that they need to do it. So it's super easy and basically it all gets distilled into this one thing called relationship, right? Um, talking, helping, being willing to um, just click like instead of scrolling on by. On by. Um, and then that honesty factor, be honest, about the fact that you don't have any, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what Austin's doing up there. Be honest about the fact that you don't have any intention of purchasing right now um, and that you will let them know if or when that changes, but that you love them and you care and you want to help them any way that you can. And I think you would be surprised at how many people would be like, okay, I don't wanna sell to you, but thank you so much for caring about me and here are the ways that you can help. Here are the ways that you can support me. And also, hey, can I support you? It's pretty easy, guys. Um, so if you have questions, let me know. Shoot me a message. You can send me an email, hsdesaro at gmail.com. Um, leave a comment, like, share. <laughs> and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We'll talk soon.